guys, it's Beverly. So, I came home from my cruise and I caught a cold. I tested myself, it wasn't COVID, thank goodness, because we know that restrictions on COVID have been loosened. And really, when we were getting ready to go on the cruise, the biggest issue they seemed to be worried about was the norovirus. And of course, there you know, was no, to my knowledge, no breakout of noro. So that's pretty cool. So, but I did come home with a cold, and it seems like lately, sore throat was first, and then I got the wheezing. So what I'm doing right now is I'm closing or sewing in the ends on my hats. My hat, hat, hat for May, for hats, hats, and more hats, for Crochet Creations by Christy. So this is the hat that I made. Now this, um, I'll be linking the pattern below. It's a Ogo hat pattern with the Caron Ogo. Okay. And I made it several rows shorter because I didn't want it to be slouchy. And my friend that does the pom-poms is up in Minnesota right now. The hat came out rather dense and or thick. And the measurements on the hat... Um, it's almost 20 inches, but it's not. So it might be a little snug on someone who uses. It's like a nine and three quarters on one side. So that gives us 19 inches, 18, almost 20 inches. You guys do the math. Because I'm not good at fraction math. But anyway... So I'm sewing the ends ends in, and part of the vo part of the voice on this video might be muted if I start coughing, you know, because I said I had the wheezing and stuff like that from my cold. So, but that's why I haven't made a video because I didn't want to say two words and start coughing. So that's the deal. Um, I finished the lattice blanket, the lattice, diamond lattice blanket, I think it was called, and I'll be posting a picture. This hat was knitted, by the way. It was knitted on size 9, US 9 and US 10 knitting needles. This pattern is also a tutorial by Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. And I enjoyed making it. It was a little rough and tough on my hands because I said, it, you know, it's dense. But I really like this pattern. I'll show it closer. See how it integrates. You carry the yarn. And I think that worked out good. But I did it, let's see, maybe six rows less than what it called for. Because it was just way too long or high before it was coming to the decrease for me. little pause there and it's done and I'll be posting it on Christie's website and on my Etsy shop so I'm just weaving the 
ends. Let's see how the crown came out. Very nice. I'm going to turn it inside out. And I just wanted to spend some time with you guys. So I'm going to be doing videos, editing them together to make a video. But that's what happens. And I have to tell you about my cruise, too. Get checked back with you later. Okay, Sally's hat's done. I'm so happy with it. It came out really pretty. So I'll be posting it on Etsy. Got all my ends sewed in. And the next thing I want to do is I want to make the project from Christy for the May Challenge. Um, I have it right here. So glad you're the wonderful, wonderful you that you are. Look at the card she sent me, you guys. I'm going to hold it up. Maybe longer than I should. Because I've been noticing people on YouTube. They hold stuff just... Okay. No, no, no. Slow down. This is, again, the pattern. Where's the title? There's the title. Can you see my eyes peeking over? <laughs> so we're going to start this today. Um, it's six and a half inches diameter and 12 inches, 12 and a half inches high. Ouch. Okay. Um, the color we're using is... 100% cotton, color, color, just a number, golden sands, I found it, golden sands, and we're going to do this, golden sands, yeah, like that's, this must have been a kit from Mary Maxim, so I'm not going to show the pattern because it's a paid for a pattern. I think it's one of those that came in the um, crochet club that you sign up for. Um, from and this one came out in 2020. In April of 2020 is when this pattern was given out as a crochet of the month. So we're going to work on this. And I have to make two bases, instruction, base, make two. Okay, so I have to make two. Repeat to make second base the same. Hey guys, I've been working on this spiral bag from um, Christy. And the pattern is out of print. It was initially a prepaid pattern, so I'm not going to give anything away. I'm just going to tell you that um, if you're going to make it, you do two magic circles, approximately seven and a half inches around, wrong sides together, and half double crochet around. Oh, and the spiral, the magic circles are um, half double crochets. And then look up a spiral hat pattern. And it'll show you how to do the spiral. I mean, that's all it is. It's a spiral. You know, the only thing I'm not giving you is the stitch count to make this exactly like this, you know, because was a paid for pattern people paid for it and Mary Maxim paid the designer so I'm not gonna step on anybody's toes but to make a beach bag like this of course you start with two and they want you to have two because it gives it a stronger and also if it's if it's two or doubled your little things won't go through the holes you know because the odds of it happening would be slim and I haven't gotten to the um, the tie-off part because it does take a while because once you do 
the joining and you start up with your spiral any spiral design is going to work they want me to do 28 rows <laughs> or 12 and a half inches that's a lot <laughs> and this said that it was um what did it say it said it was six and a half inches in diameter um and the base is 12 inches high So that's pretty cool and it's using a light three yarn so I'll just keep you posted on my project on my progress because it is um, time-consuming it's 12 and a half inches <laughs> so anyway I haven't been really doing videos oh my tongue's red I had some red velvet cake you guys sorry <laughs> matches my hair no, it's for my birthday. My birthday's May 17th, so I bought some red velvet cupcakes. And I just noticed my right eye is a little still red. But anyway, um, this is Christy's challenge, and I'll keep you posted when I get it finished.